Hello everybody and welcome to this week's virtual pub quiz. So today as always we've got 30 questions for you. The first 15 are on general knowledge followed by 15 questions about food. So thinking caps on, what we'll do is we'll do all the questions first and then we'll take a quick pause and go through and see how well you've scored as a 30. So let's get started. Question one. The animal with the longest lifespan is a species of what? So the animal with the longest lifespan is a species of what? Question two. Which word immediately precedes Queen in the opening line of the British National Anthem? So which word immediately precedes Queen in the opening line of the British National Anthem? Question three. Which poet wrote, I wandered lonely as a cloud? So which poet wrote, I wandered lonely as a cloud? Question four. The English sin singer and television presenter Cilla Black was born in which city? So the English singer and television presenter Cilla Black was born in which city? Question five. What is the county flower of Lancashire? So what is the county flower of Lancashire? Question six. Now we've all watched an episode of this, I'm sure, in the past. So Alan Titchmarsh, Charlie Dimmock and Tommy Walsh presented which long-running BBC Garden Makeover series? So Alan Titchmarsh, Charlie Dimmock and Tommy Walsh presented which long-running BBC Garden Makeover series? Question seven. Television licenses were first introduced in the UK in 1949 at a cost of how much? So I've got three choices for you. Is it A, two shillings, B, two pound or C, 20 pound? Either way, that's a lot cheaper than what they are nowadays. <laughs> so television licenses were first introduced in the UK in 1949 at a cost of how much? Is it A, two shillings, B, two pound, or C, 20 pound? Question eight. If a bingo caller shouted duck and dive, what number would they be calling? So if a bingo caller shouted duck and dive, what number would they be calling? Question 
Question nine, in what sport would you hear the term third man? So in what sport would you hear the term third man? Question 10. How many degrees of angle in total does a triangle have? So how many degrees of angle in total does a triangle have? Question 11. Which Scottish airport has the code ABZ? If you're not sure, try and think of somewhere in Scotland that begins with the letter A and you'll probably get the right answer. So which Scottish airport has the code ABZ? Question 12. What did Laura Green, Ulrika Johnson and Trish Williamson do on television? So they all had the same job. So what did Laura Green, Ulrika Johnson and Trish Williamson do on television? Thirteen. Which word can follow both jelly and sword to give the names of two creatures? So which word can follow both jelly and sword to give the names of two creatures? Fourteen. In what decade did the free penny bit cease to be legal tender? So in what decade did the free penny bit cease to be legal tender? Fifteen. Long-time Question of Sport presenter Sue Barker represented Great Britain at which sport? So long-time Question of Sport presenter Sue Barker represented Great Britain at which sport? So that's all your general knowledge questions. So now we're going to move on to our 15 questions based around food. So question 16, what English word comes from two French words meaning sour wine? So what English word comes from two French words meaning sour wine? Doesn't sound as appetizing when you put it that way. Seventeen. According to the nursery rhyme, what was Little Miss Muffet eating? So according to the nursery rhyme, what was Little Miss Muffet eating? Maybe singing the rhyme will help you get the answer for that one. Eighteen. A prune is what type of dried fruit? So a prune is what type of dried fruit? 19. 
What item of confectionery was advertised with the slogan, just enough to give your kids a treat? So what item of confectionery was advertised with the slogan, just enough to give your kids a treat? Twenty. If a dish is cooked, cooked Florentine, what is it cooked with? So if a dish is cooked Florentine, what is it cooked with? Twenty one. Which Roman goddess is also a brand of margarine? You might have this in your fridge. So which Roman goddess is also a brand of margarine? Twenty two. Which commonly eaten item of food has a name which literally translates as twice cooked? So which commonly eaten item of food has a name which literally translates as twice cooked? So it's a sweet treat, it's definitely something you might have with a cup of tea. Twenty-three. I've given you some choices because this is quite a tough one. So how many pints of milk are needed to make a pound of cheddar cheese? Is it two, four or eight? So how many pints of milk are needed to make a pound of cheddar cheese? Is it two, four or eight? That's a lot of milk either way. <laughs> 24. In which direction should you stir mincemeat for good luck? Is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? So in which direction should you stir mincemeat for good luck? Is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? 25. How many ounces of sugar formed one person's weekly ration allowance at the end of World War II? So, how many ounces of sugar formed one person's weekly ration allowance at the end of World War II? 26. Which vegetable is often also called ladies' fingers? So, which vegetable is often also called ladies' fingers? 27. Which fruit was previously known as a Chinese gooseberry? So which fruit was previously known as a Chinese gooseberry? 28. What is currently the world record for the number of Ferrero Rocher eaten in one minute? So what is currently the world record for the number of Ferrero Rochers eaten in one minute? Maybe you can top it. <laughs> Take a guess. 
1829, which English explorer introduced tobacco and potatoes to England? So which English explorer introduced tobacco and potatoes to England? And lastly, question 30, which Earl invest, invented a snack of meat between two slices of bread? So it was his surname, I believe, and it's also the name of a snack of meat between two slices of bread. So which Earl invented a snack of meat between two slices of bread? So. That's all your questions and um, make sure you've got all your answers together and join me in a few seconds and we'll go through and see how well you've scored out of 30. See you in a sec. So welcome back and it's now time to go through and see how well you scored out of 30. So question one, the animal with the longest lifespan is a species of tortoise. Question two, which word immediately precedes Queen in the opening line of the British National Anthem? And it's gracious. Question three, which poet wrote I wandered lonely as a cloud? And that was William Wordsworth. Question four, the English singer and television presenter Cilla Black was born in which city? And she was from Liverpool. Question five, what is the county flower of Lancashire? And that's a red rose. Question six, Alan Titchmarsh, Charlie Dimmock and Tommy Walsh presented which long running BBC Garden Makeover series? Now we've all watched an episode or two of this and it's ground false. Question seven, television licenses were first introduced in the UK in 1949 at a cost of how much? Were they two shillings, two pound or 20 pound? And it was just two pound back then. What would give to pay two pound now? <laughs> Question eight, if a bingo caller shouted duck and dive, what number would they be calling? And it's 25. Question nine, in what sport would you hear the term third man? And it's in cricket. Question 10, how many degrees of angle in total does a triangle have? And it has 180. 11, which Scottish airport has the code ABZ? And that's Aberdeen. 12, what did Laura Green, Ulrika Johnson and Trish, Trish Williamson do on television? And they presented the weather. 13, which word can follow both jelly and sword to give the names of two creatures and that's fish so you've got a jellyfish and a swordfish 14 in what decade did the three penny bit cease to be legal tender and that was in the 1970s 15 long time question of sport presenter sue barker represented great britain at which sport and that was at tennis so now onto our 15 questions about food. So 16, what English word comes from two French words meaning sour wine? And it's vinegar. 17, according to the nursery rhyme, what was little Miss Muffet eating? So she was sitting on her tuffet eating curd and whey. 18, a prune is what type of fruit dried? And it's a plum. 19, what item of confectionery was advertised with the slogan, just enough to give your kids a treat? And that was fudge. 20, if a dish is cooked Florentine, what is it cooked with? And it's cooked with spinach. 21, which Roman goddess is also a brand of margarine? And that's Flora. 22. Which commonly eaten item of food has a name which literally translates as twice cooked? And that's a biscuit. 23. How many pints of milk are needed to make a pound of cheddar cheese? Is it two, four or eight? 
It needs eight pints just to make one pound. That's a lot of milk. <laughs> 24. In which direction should you stir mincemeat for good luck? Is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? So you have to stir it in the clockwise. 25. How many ounces of sugar formed one person's weekly ration allowance at the end of World War II? And it was eight ounces. 26. Which vegetable is often also called ladies' fingers? And that's okra. 27. Which fruit was previously known as a Chinese gooseberry? And that was a kiwi. 28. Now this might shock you. What is currently the world record for the number of Ferrero Rocher eaten in one minute? And it's nine. That's a lot to eat in one minute. Give it a go, see if you can beat the record. 29. Which English explorer introduced tobacco and potatoes to England? And that was Walter Riley. And lastly, question 30. Which Earl invented a snack of meat between two slices of bread? And that was Earl Sandwich. So we have him to thank. So that's all your answers. Total them up, see how well that you score, and join me next week for another virtual pub quiz. Stay safe and see you then. Bye for now.